to today's tutorial and in this video I will be showing you how you can recreate this heart shape logo and it's super easy to do and let's see how that's done okay so the first thing we're going to do is to open a new document so for this video I will be using this thousand by thousand pixels do size document and I will be renaming my document to be heart, uh, yeah, heart shape logo. You're free to use any of these custom sized documents which are already been provided by Adobe Illustrator or you can go ahead and type in the same same values in the width and the height options which is thousand by thousand pixels and create okay so the first thing we're going to do is that i will be using this rectangle tool for now i don't require the stroke and i will be using the fill to be black and i'll just go ahead and make a rectangle like this and go ahead and also round the edges off like this so while my rectangle is still selected I'll go ahead to uh, make another copy out of this to do that we'll be going to edit copy go back to edit and paste in front so once that's done with the help of the selection tool right here I'll be rotating the copy to 90 degrees like that. I'll select both of the rectangles we just made. Go over here to this rotate tool. Double click on this and give an angle of 45 degrees and okay. Like that. So I'll go ahead and select this again. Go back to my shape builder tool. Click on Alt to delete these two items right here and in the Pathfinder panel right here in this Pathfinder panel pa uh, in this Pathfinder panel select this first option in the shape modes which says unite and it becomes into one single shape and over here I'll just click on the swap fill and stroke option yeah wait Make sure that this is selected and swap like that so that my fill becomes nil and the stroke becomes to be black like that. So once that's done, I'll go back to the rectangle tool again and again flip this because I need the stroke to be black and will not require any stroke as of now. So I'll go ahead and make this thin rectangle again and go back to edit copy edit and paste in front and while that's done click on shift and with the help of the arrow keys just nudge this a little bit to the other side like that so once that's done i'll select both these two rectangles right click on them and click on this group option right here so once that's done, we'll go ahead and add this to the brush options over here in my brushes panel. So what I'm going to do is I'll just drag these two over here. And this new brush box pops up. I will be using this art brush tool, art brush option right here. Click on OK. Make sure that the brush scale options is the middle one which says stretch to fit stroke length. And in the directions option right here, I will be choosing this one which says stroke from bottom to up and click on OK. Okay, so once that's done, you can see that our new brush has been added right over here in this brush panel. So you can go ahead and delete the, rectang the rectangles you just made. Click on our shape, go back to the brush tool, oh, brush tool. And select the new brush that we just made and this kind of a stroke is made like that 
I'll select this and I want to zoom in on this. To zoom in, you all you have to do is click on Control plus and uh, Control and plus like that. So I'll be using the line segment tool for now. And over here, just on the path, just create a line like that. Go to the brush tool and select this. And I want to just make sure that it's aligned like that, approximately like this. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Make a line like that, which is going approximately in the middle like this. And add the brush as well like that. Okay. So once that's done, we can go ahead and select all of this and I'll use the shape builder tool and I'll go ahead and delete the things that I do not require as of now. So click on the alt button, quit. Yeah. So make sure you selected all of this, then go to the shape builder tool. Oops. So once that's done, before I actually delete anything that I want to, I'll select all of them, go to object and click on expand experience like that. And now we can just go ahead and delete the lines that we do not require by using the shape builder tool right here. So we can just click on alt and delete these two and I'll be just joining these two like that. Similarly, delete this and delete this and just join them again. You probably want to join them together so that it becomes into one like that. This and oh, do not require that. Okay. And once that's done, we can go ahead and also add a drop shadow effect that that's there on this one as well. In order to do that, I'll select my shape, go to the effect panel, go to stylize and click on drop shadow effect. And over here in the opacity panel, it says 75%. I'll be bringing the opacity down a little bit. To 45 degrees, click on preview. And now you can see that a very light shadow has been added just behind the shape that we had we have made. And we can go ahead and click on OK. And there you go. Our heart shape logo has been successfully been made. Now we can just go ahead and also save our document. In order to do that, we'll be going to File and clicking on Save As. So by default, our file name is going to be the same as our document name, which is a heart shape logo. And for the Save As type, it's going to be Adobe Illustrator file. I highly recommend that we save a file in this format so that in case if I want to make any further changes, I can easily access my AI file. And we can go ahead and click on Save. And okay, and there you go. Our heart shape logo has now been successfully been saved as an AI file. So I hope you found this video to be useful and with a little practice, you can experiment with the same type of, you can experiment with the same effect with different shapes as well and play around with the opacity of the drop shadow and see how it comes out. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.